Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with Samar Ajawi. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, along with His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, attended the marriage ceremony of the Crown Prince of Jordan, His Royal Highness, Prince Hussein bin Abdullah II in Amman. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness congratulated the King of Jordan, His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein, Her Majesty Queen Rania Al Abdullah, and the Crown Prince of Jordan, His Royal Highness Prince Hussein bin Abdullah II. His Royal Highness also extended his congratulations to the Crown Prince of Jordan on his marriage. During his visit, His Royal Highness highlighted the historic relationship between Bahrain and Jordan, which is underpinned by a shared vision of progress. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad also congratulated the Crown Prince of Jordan on the occasion. The third edition of the Bahrain Baby Olympics opened under the patronage of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, General Sports Authority Chairman and Bahrain Olympic Committee President, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Bahrain Olympic Committee is organizing the four-day event at the Bahrain Table Tennis Federation and the Bahrain Federation for People of Determination at Isa bin Rashid Halls in Isa Sports City. The opening ceremony was also attended by the GSA Deputy Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Bahrain Football Association Deputy Chairman, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali Al Khalifa, Cabinet Affairs Ministry Under Secretary, Bahrain Olympic Committee Deputy President, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. Also present were the Education Minister, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak Juma, Bahrain Paralympic Committee Chairman, Sheikh Mohammed bin Daij Al Khalifa. GSA Chief Executive Officer Dr. Abdul Rahman Sadiq Askar, BOC Secretary General Faris Mustafa Al Kohaji, Bahrain Table Tennis Association Chairperson Sheikh Hayat bint Abdul Aziz Al Khalifa, Bahrain Paralympic Committee Secretary General Ali Al Majid, and other senior officials, invitees, and guests. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad commended the organization of the event hailing the large participation of nurseries and kindergartens affiliated with the Ministry of Education. He stressed the importance of such sporting, social and educational events in instilling a culture of sports in children at an early age and encouraging them to practice motor activities through a series of recreational and sports competitions that develop thought, mind and body.
The Minister of Social Development, Chairman of the Family Microfinance House, Osama bin Ahmed Khalaf Al Asfour, chaired the second meeting of the FMH Board of Directors. The meeting discussed FMH performance report, financial statements and risk management and corporate governance report for first quarter of 2023. It also approved the minutes of the last meeting. The meeting reviewed ways to sustain development projects and services provided by the institution and emphasized on taking all administrative measures that contribute to the efficient performance of its role. The minister stressed the importance of providing the best sustainable development practices by applying the concepts of social economy. He praised the FMH's efforts in achieving progressive results and stressed the keenness to consolidate cooperation with relevant authorities to financing micro-enterprises. While chairing the meeting of the Youth Empowerment Committee in the Public and Private Sectors, the Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan bint Najib Tawfiqi, underscored the importance of the role played by the Youth Empowerment Committee in the Public and Private Sectors. The Minister stressed the need to shed light on youth empowerment initiatives, develop their skills in various fields and work to integrate youth needs within the strategic plan in the public and private sectors. The Youth Affairs Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for the trust of His Highness, stressing that the committee will work hard to materialize His Highness's ideas into reality to empower young people in various public and private sectors, in addition to striving towards achieving the noble goals of the committee. Start Up Bahrain, the leading entrepreneur's hip platform in the Kingdom of Bahrain, organized its second competition in cooperation with the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, the Labor Fund Timkeen, the Economic Development Board, and the Bahrain Development Bank, which paves the way for entrepreneurs to showcase their activities. Six local startup companies competed in the competition, whose projects were reviewed by the jury, which comprised of a number of regional and local judges, and in the presence of a number of investors and leaders in the entrepreneurial system. The competition provides financing opportunities for emerging projects for Bahraini entrepreneurs to be able to move forward and develop their businesses. The United Arab Emirates assumed the rotating presidency of the United Nations Security Council this month. During the UAE presidency, the Council will discuss human fraternity, climate change, peace and security and cooperation between the United Nations and the League of the Arab States as the main priorities of its presidency during the month of June. As president, the UAE sets the Council's program of work in agreement with other members, presides over Council meetings and facilitates the adoption of resolutions and other Council products. Throughout the month of June, this will include 17 briefings in total, two meetings of troop contributing countries, one debate, one open debate, 13 closed consultations, and one informal interactive dialogue, in addition to seven adoptions. The General President of the Affairs of the Grand Holy Mosque and Prophet's Holy Mosque, Sheikh Dr. Abdurrahman bin Abdulaziz Asdais, announced the operational plan of the Presidency of the Two Holy Mosques for this year's Hajj season 1444, the most extensive operational plan for the Presidency. The plan focuses on several main axes related to the strategic goals of the Presidency 2024 based on the Saudi Vision 2030. In his opening speech at the media forum, as today said, the operational plan for this year's Hajj season is the largest in the history of the presidency after the end of the corona pandemic and the announcement of the return of Hajj pilgrims in the millions. He added that the plan is an extension of the outstanding successes and long-term achievements that were laid down by the directives of the wise government, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Hamad bin Salman, who closely follow all the services provided to the Hajj pilgrims.